This broadcast is brought to you in part by the Idaho Silver Shop, your specialty silver store in Wallace. Here's news anchor John Webb. Hunt, fish, love it every day. Well, that's what Luke Bryan has been up to for the past couple of days, but not where you might think. The famous country singer was spotted today in the small town of St. Mary's, not hunting or loving, but fishing. Marcy Telford, owner of the St. Joe Sports Stop, captured this photo outside of her store this afternoon. I love country music, and I recognized him as soon as he walked in the door, but I, I kept on trying to talk myself out of it. And then when I heard him speak, he walked in um, with some other buddies. Um, I think there were four of them. And when he started to speak and he had that southern draw, I thought, oh, geez, I think it is. It sure was the multi-award winning artist and American Idol judge who was actually in Coeur d'Alene this past year. And anyone who follows Luke would know that he loves to fish. St. Joe River is known for the best fly fishing in all of northern, well, all of the United States, I think. The St. Joe River is a beautiful river. And we can imagine that's what he was up to this afternoon, especially since one of his buddies purchased a fishing license from Mrs. Telford. Put his stuff up on the counter, and then he told his buddies to throw their stuff up there, too, that he was going to pick it all up. And one of them said, well, Luke's picking up everything. So then I asked him, I said, Are you Luke, the famous singer? (laughs) Um, It was all that came to my head at the time. Like I said, I'm 72, and I um, forget things and so on and so forth. So anyway, uh, he said, yeah, some people refer to me as that. Telford finished up the sale, and out the door, Luke went. I had another customer there who I knew very well. He comes in every day, and I said, oh, my gosh, I said, could you wait just a few more minutes while I run out and see if I can get a picture with him? Because nobody is going to believe me. <laughs> so I did, and he was very nice. He, he yes, was took, the, took my phone and took a picture of us, and I told him thank you and to have a good day. The photo of the two smiling faces was posted to their Facebook page by Lacey St. John, and within just minutes, the post was liked by thousands. Some were wondering what he purchased, so we asked. He bought black peppered bits sunflower seeds, actually two of them. And right before he took the picture, I was laughing so hard because he spit out all of his sunflower seeds into the parking lot and because I'm sure he didn't he was smiling pretty big and I I don't think he wanted any sunflower seeds in his teeth (laughs) well his teeth look great as always I'm John Webb for North Idaho News this broadcast is brought to you in part by Deborah Kane your local best-selling romance author